on the beach in New Plymouth, New Zealand. And here come the men. The tide is out. They have a much longer run to get into the water. Over 70 plus men trying desperately to get those final Olympic bursts. Look at the dolphin diving happening right there. Can anyone beat the great Javier Gomez? Well, we saw maybe a bit of invincibility last week with his weaker swim, but already today he's in the lead. So he's trying to show that not only is he the sport's best runner, but he's also the best swimmer as well. Gomez leading right now at the 300 meter mark as they come around the final swim boy. It is two loops, 750 meters, and they're tightly bunched together wearing those wetsuits. Usually you don't see much of a differentiation on the men when wetsuits are worn, getting a lot of extra water polo at that corner right there. The men will be starting to make their way back towards the shore. They don't actually come up on shore. They do a little bit of a dolphin dive close to shore before they go back up the second of the laps. And you can see that great camera shot right there. The men still very tightly bunched together. Richard Standard first out of the water at the end of the 1500 meters. Gomez now coming in as well. Brownlee into that bunch. Terenzo Bazzani with a great swim. He's got a lot to prove after not making the Kiwi Olympic Games team the outstanding four-time world junior champ. Going out first is Standard, and the men are coming in. Paul Tischler having a great swim, so he's doubling back right there as well. There goes Bazzani as well out onto the course. So about 12 or 13 men very tightly bunched together as they go through. Colin Jenkins from Canada. There comes Mickey Petzold into the transition zone. Brad kullefeldt has got a bit of time to make up right now as he's back by about uh, 25 or 30 seconds. Stuart Hayes has got some time to make as well. It is six laps and the athletes as they head through will have about 45 of them within less than 40 seconds going out onto the course. Overcast conditions right now. There goes Kyle Jones from Canada. The Russians well established into the mid-30s as they go through. But young Alistair Brownlee up into that league chase group right now as he is within less than 10 seconds of our leaders. Also Freeman from Great Britain. And we're taking a look right now as our league group of athletes going through. The rain is continuing to hold off right now. And as we're taking a look, Richard Stannard, and there is Gomez who is pushing the pace. That lead group of about 12 or 13 men with about a 20 second lap. And if you let Marco Albert, Javier Gomez, Richard Stannard, Colin Jenkins, and Paul Tischler get away, that could be all game over. Taking a look right now as a chase group of athletes now are all starting to pull back together. So some very fast riding. And uh, Vasiliev has been working very hard as well. David Dello trying to get uh, Brad Kullefeldt back into the group. And it looks like we're likely going to have about 45 or 50 men all together. One of the guys who did pull out here at the end of the swim was Bevan Doherty, the man that won on this course a couple of years ago. And zoning in right there, that is number two ranked, Brad Kullefeldt. And Kullefeldt will look around to see where Gomez is at. They'll be coming to the late stages of this 40 kilometer ride. It's six laps out onto the course right now and 45 or 50 men together in one large group. We have seen a couple small breakaways try to go off to the front and in the late stages, some of the stronger cyclists just may try to do that again. It'll be a very fast run expected here, 10 kilometers as we start to pan through the middle stages of this last loop. You can see Kyle Jones from Canada as we go through and already that small break we anticipated, Vasiliev now starting to break off the front and it looks like Rudy Wild and the red is trying to come in there as well. About four or five men trying to make the breakaway. I think that might be Stuart Hayes from Great Britain. Hayes always tries to get away in those small breakaways. A three or four group of men right now coming through. And as we can start to see here, a couple of other athletes. That looks like uh, Mickey Petzold, and that might be Stuart Hayes right there. So it could have been Brownlee up a group, a group of five or six men now into that final break, but not much of a gap as they'll start to come back towards the transition zone. And that small hill on the sixth time starting to make Make a small break here. We can see a couple of the other athletes coming through. And I think a group of about 12 or 15 have eventually made their way. Terenzo Bazzani looks like he may be the first to head out. Rudy Wild, Paul Tischler into that group, Mickey Petzold, and Andrew Johns, the old man of triathlon who went to the 2000 Olympic Games. He's had a medal at the World Championships. There's Paul Tischler just racking the bike. Bazzani heading off onto the run. He'll be first out. Petzold, Rudy Wild, Andrew Johns out onto the course. There goes Stuart Hayes out as well. And we got a group of about 14 or 15 men and still the big names, Gomez and Brad Kullefeld coming in now. They will be down by almost 50 seconds. Brad Kullefeld is gonna have to have a ripper of a run. There is Gomez. He's gonna have to have another one of those patented brilliant runs as heading out onto the course. Gimmel right now is about five seconds up on Gomez and Kyle Jones out there as well. About a 50 second gap now as we see our lead group of athletes have already started to make their move. This is the chase group right now. Gomez, Gimmel, Sexton, and Caulfield. And look at Javier Gomez start to make that move. 
At about the four kilometer mark, this man is absolutely phenomenal. And this course has some up and down rolling hills and then three times on a very tough little section of course. Up to the lead athletes who were breaking away off the early section of the bike and that was Andrew John sitting in about third place. And right there, there is Gomez and Kohlfeldt. That looks like the battle they had a week ago. And Gomez starting to lay it down again. Can Brad Kohlfeldt go with him? Andrew John showing some absolute phenomenal fitness. He couldn't even get into the World Cup race just a few weeks ago, but nobody is going to touch Javier Gomez at his 15th podium in his career, his ninth World Cup win, and an absolutely devastating 29-37 for his 10-kilometer run. Can anyone beat Javier Gomez? Colafell crossing the line with the day's second fastest run. He's got to be pleased with his early fitness. And here comes Andrew Johns, the great old man from Great Britain, having an absolutely breakthrough race. Yeah, yeah, it was so much better than last weekend. Uh, I was a bit worried with my swim and Mudulava, but I did it so much better today. And uh, I felt strong on bike, I felt very good on, on the run, so I think maybe it was uh, my best race ever, so I'm, I'm really happy. Triathlon superstar Javier Gomez, World Cup win number nine. Brad Caulfield showing he's consistent, and the old man, Andrew Johns, in third.